Hi everyone, how are you? This is Hasin here. Today I'm talking about an interesting topic. Uh, we know about the business mail. It's a very important thing for all the business person and who are who have to doing uh, mail transfer and other type of things. But they can't use uh, Gmail or Yahoo this type of mail and they have to use a business mail which is associate with their business domain that's uh, like uh, google.com did you know any your friend are working in a google so their email starting with uh, his or her name and at the rate google.com and you can see your university students and most of them have uh, this professional email id that is related with their university today in this video i'm showing you how you can use this business email in your windows so this is a very easy work so first you have to create a email through your hosting so this is not in this part if you have any business email you you can log in uh, to your email using webmail so you can also use this email id to your outlook account so without login you can get access you can send email and you know outlook is a part of microsoft office product so let's start a video so first i have to search here outlook so i installed here 13 so you can um, do the same type of thing for 2007, 10, 13, 16, anything. Okay, so I have to start with this. Do you want to connect email account? Yes, I want to connect here. Here is my name. Uh, the name is and i have to type here my email because i already created the email account so that uh, i'm using uh, this if you haven't any email account you can not access or create using this first you have to create your email id from cpanel so that was the first day so i just copied my password here and first i have to log in to my webmail and after that and after that i can e get access to my outlook it's yes it's successfully uh, logged in here i always like to use this option Yeah, this is my email account and uh, you guys can see all the details here and this is very important for email um, connecting with Outlook. So after that I have to select here manually set up because it's very important and external server. Yes, I have, it, I have the external server but I want to select pop or IMAP just click next here is the name is very important uh, this will uh, show when you send the email uh, here uh, here I have to uh, give the uh, incoming email server so here is the incoming email server I have to just copy it from here and outgoing email server you can uh, see here is the outgoing email server both are same Sometime in 2019, I mean in MS Word, MS Office 2019, you have to uh, give the uh, POP3 port number. It's uh, necessary for uh, the 2019, but in Outlook 2013, uh, they are not showing me this. And I have to use here the username and password. So username and password as like my email ID and password. And just paste here I can also test my account settings here so it's not very important so for 13 you will get this more option I just click here just for the security purpose it's not a necessary and mandatory thing for you and just click here next and uh, 
Outlook just testing my account. Let's wait some time. Yes, congratulations, all test it's completed successfully. Click here to close. I just click here to close. And if I want to add more account, so I can add it from here. But right now, I don't want to add more accounts. I just finish it and Outlook, it's opening. So I have to wait here a little bit of time just for the email coming from there. Yes, here is the new email. It's automatically uh, by Microsoft Outlook while testing the settings of your account. And here is the another email. So let's test uh, this new server. And here is my email. And I can add more and more email IDs here. It's a very it's a very easy work. So you can add it from here. Add account, add account, and you can add here thousand accounts, hundred accounts. It's an unlimited option for you. So I can uh, work here as a task, uh, calendar, and messages inbox, and you can do all the type of things. It, this is not video about outlook this is just connecting system that's you can this can help you a lot test the email account from here i'm just going to my gmail account my personal gmail account and i'm sending an email uh, to my new outlook account okay i just click here compose It's just test mail. I want to attach an image. Let's attach here and go to the download option. Just select a randomly picture or anything. I like to add a picture here. Picture and word. Picture and PDF. Okay. So it needs a little bit of time to upload it. Just click here, send. It's sending. So let's wait here when the new email come to my uh, Outlook. Yes, when when a new email arrived here, I will get a notification like this. So I can check email from here and here one pdf and one image so i want to preview the files from here here is a pdf file and here is a image it's loading here it's loaded here and if i want to download from here i can also do it save as it's a very easy work and now let me taste a send email from this account Just write here subject taste email to. I can also attach file from here. Let me attach something with this email. And I want to add here another two images. It's fine. It's very faster than others. So just uh, it's in the outbox. Let me wait some time send it already send it so where is my email let me check sorry here is the email it's a very easy task and you can use it without logging your webmail or any other site okay that's all for today this is um, this is Hasin signing off right now if you like this video please subscribe my channel and Click the bell icon. See you to my next video.